Okay, so this is Age of Wonders 3. Um, it came out last year, uh, last March I believe, but this week it uh, launched for Linux. And uh, to celebrate that fact, it's 66% off until uh, sometime on Friday, I think. Um, at the point where I'm recording, it's uh, it was a little over 36 hours left in the sale. I'm going to go for a new campaign. And we'll go for... The Elven Court, since I've already played through that one before I did this video. So there's some story. I'm gonna let that the play through. The wheel of ages turns, set in motion by two opposing powers preparing for war. The Commonwealth, humanity's greatest empire, spreads to every continent. Emperor Leonis promises to reward ambition regardless of race, creed, or descent. The Empire's machines roll forward, bringing wealth to those willing to crush all opposition. The Elven Court will not submit. It is our duty to protect Athla, so that the wonders of our world will never fade. My name is Sundran, and this is my journal. All right. So this is set up for the game. We can have uh, hard, normal, and easy. Um, we have turn-based. There's turn-based movement, and there's also turn-based battles, which will be more obvious when we get going a bit. Um, it's it's basically a, a, a four X game with turn-based combat. Um, so a bit like Civilization Five, maybe but with a more detailed uh, combat and also, as I just let play through here, a story. Um, so it's much more much more mission focused than, than something like Civilization and the missions are part of an actual narrative that's ongoing through, through the game. So I'm going to skip through uh, the rest of the story here just to get to the actual action so you can see what that's like. But this is this is how the story is delivered. My father is King Saradas, once first Stormlord so of the Dark Elves. We're a frustrated princess. Our brother. My grandfather Inioch was king of oh, the High Elves. Oh, like, my parents, they forged the elves out of two an warring factions. To escape my gilded cage when Than and her brother has uh, been invited to peace negotiations. So. This is the character that uh, I am playing in this uh, this initial scenario. So Prince Thanos has gone to the talks. We've been left here to uh, to uh, hunt down some brigands who are in the woods somewhere. Uh, so, we have research and stuff. I will choose... What does this do? Let's do that. The Tome of Wonders is um, basically having having everything. You know, it's, it's your sort of um, portal page. Uh, the hints, you can just keep them or dismiss them, on. I don't think it really matters. Our current quest is this being a leader. I've got to hunt some bandits who are down there somewhere. And the first, the first step is merging armies, which is fairly straightforward. You just move them all into the same square. There we go. So you'll see that probably you know, it's going to tell me how to do it. I now have six uh, units located in this in this army. Oops. So I'm going to move. Right click to move. And we'll find 90 whatever they are. 
you know, mana points, crystals, whatever, for casting spells. And we need to find these bandits. Here's some bandits. Look, let's go and attack them. Oh, we can't come at the end of the turn. Now I could cast a spell. It doesn't do much good at this point. So I'm a magical leader. I have the ability to cast spells. I have an army. We have opponents who also have armies. Independent party, there we go. So we'll end the turn. A new day dawns. So I'm going to attack these brigands. So, you can see here uh, the, the relative breakdown. And we can choose auto combat, in which case uh, very much like uh, civilization, it will just determine the results of combat and then tell you. Or you can do manual combat, which is a bit more interesting and allows a bit more um, statistical scope. So now I get to. Um, Control my troops in battle in turn based fashion. Right. Yeah, there's a tutorial. I did read it before. So, in battle, let's see what I've got. I can do a rain of poison blades. Let's do a rain of poison blades on. They're all the same thing, aren't they? Go. Right. Let's see what else we've got. So, we've got Storm Sisters who have a number of abilities. Shock bolts. I can't move them, I'm sorry, so they can't reach there, so let's move them closer. I'm on a sight penalty, right. Let's do it anyway. Right, what do these people have? Just melee. So let's put them over there. And put them in a defensive stance. And what do these people do? Ooh, archers, right, good. So we get some archers in. We've defeated an enemy, yay! Human scoundrel's dead. What have we got here? More melee troops. Let's put them somewhere defensive. And let's do these longbow men. These people. Finally. No, oh, I don't need to do anything with her. Excellent. So you can see it's a turn based combat system which. Uh, oh, more archers. What I don't know is, can I can I attack the obstacle? Let's see. I can. All right, what can I do now? All right. Nothing really useful. Okay. Let's do some more of this thing. Let's stun them then. No. Let's move there. No. I see no way to tell. I've not completely got the hang of it all yet.
There we go. That's them all dead. Can I do another spell? Yes, I can. You, you're getting it. There we go. Victorious. And my brother, so proud. So there are more brigands afoot. I defeated them without any losses, which is excellent. And I've completed a quest. Take the reward. There we go. Got a hat, I'm not putting it on apparently. That's fine. There's some treasure here, so let's go and pick it up. I found lots of gold. So, that was combat. This is the city over here, which it wants me to head to next. Um, as we're doing that, some more story will happen. Uh, I'm not going to go through with all that. Uh, I will tell you that once you uh, get to the cities here, you can use and produce units, you can build improvements in the cities, just, just like uh, civilization. Um, there's, there's, my, uh, there's my brother at the, uh, at the pool, along with and various other dignitaries and uh, Gambrak there. So the story is going to go on. The, I'm not giving too much away, and it's going to be a betrayal, and uh, you will have to avenge that betrayal by building up an army and uh, heading off to attack things. Uh, there will be elves, there will be fairies, there will be orc type creatures. It's all, uh, it's all quite fun. I'm not an expert in it yet by any means, but uh, I've had no, no problems with this uh, tutorial really. Uh, but the first time I tried manual combat I died horribly. But I think I've got the hang of it a bit now. So, like I said, release for Linus this week. It's 66% uh, off until Friday night, I think, or late on Friday. If you like Civ games, probably worth checking out. If you thought Civ was a bit dull because it lacked some story and didn't have any dragons in it, you should probably check this out. Um, get it while it's cheap. There is some new DLC just been released which isn't part of the sale. Um, I probably won't be getting that myself uh, until I've played through the main game when it does come in a sale, but it does look like there's going to be uh, new content as we go along. Uh, I've played it for a few hours so far and really quite enjoyed it. As I said, check it out.